Hello once again everyone, Tobin Industrial. Today we are looking at a um, Elite Line TX2250 linear, which I do believe was made by uh, Palomar, although I think the, the company may be gone out of business for quite some time. I uh, recently ordered a uh, set of relays for this uh, for this linear, uh, because the, the relays that were in it, they were sticking and they were staying engaged, which is not good. So I, I did uh, receive these uh, relays uh, just a, just a day, or, day or so ago. I did uh, some time ago, uh, several months ago, receive a couple of similar relays from Radio Nut, and I made the attempt to install them. Unfortunately, they, I got them installed half decent, I suppose, although it's not as good as I would like it to be. Uh, but unfortunately, these um, relays were not uh, functioning properly. Although it did make it work a bit better, it wasn't working properly, so I had to order the, the actual relays. And uh, today I'm going to attempt to remove uh, these uh, relays that are in there now, the, the ones that uh, don't belong there really. And uh, I don't know if I'll be replacing the relays uh, with the new ones, but I'm certainly going to try to get these relays out for now. Anyway, I'm going to continue on and uh, get that done and uh, get back to you. Okay, now we have uh, the massive heat sink removed from uh, the main circuit board, which is right here. Uh, these are the two pills on the opposite side, of course. Just be very gentle here. And uh, basically what we had to do is remove all the outer screws here and in the back here. Let go all the internals here to the, for these connections. And in the bottom here, there were four hex nuts, I would call them, here, here, and there, and there, which uh, tie into the heat sink here. Anyway, that's a part now. What we need to do is uh, get this uh, solder taken off of uh, the relays in this area right here. This is the relays here and here. Uh, now what I've done uh, is I've taken some uh, cable, some uh, satellite cable, and stripped away the, the outside jacket, the plastic, uh, to reveal the, gr the ground, which is a, a, braided, a braided wire, and that's what I'm going to use to the solder suck uh, to get the solder off the board. This, this is the, the grounding, the ground wire here off the cable, and that's, uh, you use that to, uh, to absorb the, the solder off the circuit board. Okay, back again. Um, I have the two resistors out. Here's the ones that were uh, had to be taken out because they didn't work properly. And if you look closely, you see the area where they came out. This area here. Now, I just might want to uh, to mention to you that I am certainly still a novice person when it comes to repairs, and uh, so. I can tell you that it was a struggle to get these these parts out. Um, I, I just don't have the the technology or the skill or whatever. But anyway, I didn't want to burn up the board, so I just took my time and 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 done you know as as best I could. Um, this is the probably the third time I've used this braided wire, and um, I I got to get some more input on how to use the braided wire because it doesn't seem to be sucking up the solder as 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 good as what it should. And uh, I watch other videos, and I see people uh, removing the solder, and it, you know, it seems like a very precision, a very, very quick procedure. Uh, as for myself, it's um, I uh, heat up the solder, and I try to remove it with the braid, and it doesn't seem to work. Anyway, going to try to uh, attempt to put in the the relays, which I have here. I've already shown you. These are the actual replacements. Going to give it a go. See if I can clean up the the circuit board first. Make sure the holes are clear so that the I can get these relays in. Because I remember the last time it was really hard to get them to seat properly. So anyway, we're gonna go at that there. And we'll okay, we have the two relays in. I I, I got, have to say that uh, it's not the best job in the world, but they're certainly uh, they're in there and they're making contact. I wish I was a bit better of a solderer, and I wish I was more capable of uh, removing the solder. Anyway, we'll put this together and uh, give it a test. 
Okay, sad to report that the linear is not working. I'm going to give you a brief demonstration as to what it's still doing. When I apply power to uh, the linear, the TX light comes on and it should not. Now the preamp light is working fine. Although I don't know, well, it's not, not a the preamp, preamp is not functioning, but light does come on. I have a similar, very similar uh, linear amplifier up here. And I'll give you a demonstration as to what this is doing. The TX light does not come on, but when I modulate or when I key up, it uh, the light comes on. Preamp light, and you'll hear from the radio. Preamp is working. So it looks like the relays that were not were working. The relays that I got from Radio Nut, which were similar, were working. And I would say that the relays that I just purchased off of eBay are working. Unfortunately, there's some other problem that I yet to figure out. So I apologize for not being able to uh, repair the radio and give you a good demonstration as to how it can be done. I'm not saying that I'm a, a good tech because I'm only novice, but I, I certainly don't mind trying. Unfortunately, this looks like it's a little bit beyond my scope, but I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, I'd like to thank you for watching and uh, please subscribe and have a great day.